This is a demonstration for the MicroTest 5237 Transformer Analyzer. After turning the machine on, the first step is to create a new file. For this demonstration, we are going to be naming our file sample. So enter the letters accordingly. And after you're done, press OK on the upper right hand corner. The next step is to enter your pin information. We have a function called mapping. This function allows you to enter your transformer information and after attaching the transformer, the pins will automatically be set for you. As you can see, there's only 14 pins. After plugging it in, you can see that we're skipping the first pet first channel. So we're starting on channel 2, and there's a total of 14. So you enter the information and make sure everything's correct. Next, you'll be setting the windings. You enter which pins you want to short, like so. And after these settings are inputted, you press exit on the bottom right. The next step is to set your test parameters. You can generate all the information you entered earlier. Then you go to the parameter section and you can enter which test parameter you would like. Then you can enter the frequency. And then the voltage. And then the standard value. And then the tolerance. And these numbers will be generated. Then you can measure. You can do that for each different. And you exit. You can also test the RDC. As, well, again, you generate all the values you entered earlier. And you can set the standard value. and the tolerance then you can measure again do that for each different after that's complete then you can measure the turn ratio again it will generate the values for you go lower and switch to the voltage or the number of turns Set that for each different. Then you exit back to the main menu. Then you do the OS correction by taking out the transformer. Go to the correction menu. Select open plus short. And the machine will perform the task. Then you exit. And notice that you can go back and check to make sure that all your settings are still the same. And then you put the transformer back in to test.
the transformer. Notice that the transformer passes based on the settings inputted. You can either test on the transformer analyzer itself, like so, or you can test it on the scanning box by pressing start. Take out the transformer, put it back in, and test again. After, we let's take a look at some of our system settings by clicking system. You can lock the edit, which prevents people from changing your settings. You can inverse the LCD screen based on preference. You can change the time it beeps by turning it off, only when it passes, only when it fails. You can change the trigger mode to single or repeat. Uh, repeating means that after you press test, it'll keep repeating the test in that interval. You can change the trigger delay, which means that after you press the test button, how long it'll take before the machine actually does the test. You can change the displaying of the test data. You can change the font to large or small, based on preference. Small looks like this. while the large looks like this all depends on you then you can either choose to print the test data or not and then you can cha choose to stop the test based on how many fail you can change the fail lock you can choose to upload the test data if it passes or every test data you can also keep the past data on the LCD screen for an X amount of seconds before it disappears. And that is our transformer analyzer, 5237.